I'm going to show how to change out a 30 amp double pole breaker for a 15 amp double pole breaker. This is the same technique for changing to a 20 amp double pole breaker. You should never change breakers up in amperage, only down in amperage, unless the wire gauge is adequate. The adequate wire gauge for the size of breaker is 14 gauge wire for a 15 amp breaker, 12 gauge for a 20 amp breaker or less, and a 10 gauge wire for a 30 amp breaker or less. In this project, I am installing a new 18,000 BTU window air conditioner for my shop. It requires a 230 volt 15 amp receptacle. I have 10 gauge wires coming from the box so I can easily change to a 15 amp breaker. This is my breaker box in my shop. Here is the 30 amp breaker that I will replace with a 15 amp breaker. Begin by turning off the main switch. If there is another main switch that controls this panel, you should turn it off as well. I will address that later. The next step is to remove the cover. This is done by removing the mounting screws as seen here. Be extra careful not to touch any wires that are now exposed. Wires should always be tested first. For educational purposes, I have the main switch on in order to show how it functions. Use a voltage tester pin to check for hot wires. As seen here, because the main switch is on, all the wires are hot. For demonstration only, here's a look at the function of an individual breaker. Therefore, when all the breakers are in on position, all of the wires have current. All of these wires are controlled by a service switch, also called the main switch. The wires coming into the main switch are always hot, unless there's an external switch controlling them. In this case, this is in my shop, and the whole box can be turned off from a switch in my house. Here's the electrical box in my house. I have identified the breaker that feeds my shop. This is a 100 amp double pole breaker that I will just simply turn off. The electrical box in my shop should now have no current. Once again, always recheck every wire with a voltage tester. Once confirmed that it's safe, use a flathead screwdriver to pry the breaker off in this manner. Then remove it the rest of the way using your fingers. The wires are held into place with the terminal screws. Unscrew the terminal screws with a screwdriver to release the wires. Note that both of these wires are used to carry 120 volts each. The white is used as a hot just like the black wire. It may be code in your area to label the white wire with a piece of black electrical tape. This is the new 15 amp double pole breaker. Using a screwdriver, unscrew the terminal screws so that the terminals can receive the wires. The breaker is now ready to receive the wires. At the box, Insert the bare end of the white wire into the terminal. Then secure it into place using a screwdriver in this manner. Repeat this process with the black wire on the other terminal. Once again, tighten with the screwdriver until it's well secure. Next, install in the reverse order in which the old one was removed. 
Be sure to tuck the wires out of the way back into their original position as well. On the bottom side of the breaker, you will find two notches that will receive the two tabs in the breaker box. Install the breaker notches onto these tabs in this manner. Then simply push the breaker into place as seen here. Inspect to make sure all the wires and breakers are in place. Then reinstall the cover in the reverse order as it was taken off. Next, I returned power to the shop from the main switch in the house. The shop panel should now have power. And finally, switch the new 15 amp breaker to the on position and test the wires at the outlet box. The breaker is now ready to use.